God started the formation of the world with a word. In the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was light. God also said that as his children, if we got faith the size of a mustard seed, we can speak to mountains in our life and cause these mountains to move. I get kind of worked up sometimes when I can praise the Lord and I sound like I'm singing a little bit. Amen. Amen. You can't tell me nothing now, Mama Brown. I mess around and hold a note, I'll be singing. Amen. Amen. I ain't ashamed. Amen. I am not ashamed. Amen. 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 He gave me this voice. Yes, he, well, yes, he did. So. If I can't sing praise to him, am I going to power voice? Then, hey. Amen. Why well, to give it to me? That's Amen. right. That's right. Some, of the us, now, some of us not in here. I'm not, not in here because I heard y'all singing. That I was hoping I got up and I could say this was in here. But it ain't in here. Amen. 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 Sometimes folks don't sing because they don't they don't think their voice is right. That's what God gave us. You know your voice, if it blends, it don't have to be right. Amen. 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 See, I can sound any kind of way as long as I got y'all around me. Who I sound like a superstar. Y'all better watch yourself. Amen. Amen. I thank you all for joining us this morning on Facebook. Thank you so very much. I got some real good news from one of my Facebook people today. Woo, I can't wait to see you Friday. I can't wait to see you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 We're going to talk a little bit today to our young folk. Now, I know I've been talking to young folk for the last four Sundays. We got one more young folk next Sunday. But you'll be happy to know this today is not just to you. Amen. Amen. I know what you're saying. Y'all done talked to some of them old folks up in there sometime. Amen. 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 You're right. Amen. So we're going to talk to them today. Our lesson is entitled, What If? What If? When it comes to things that we wish we could have done or things that we did that we wish we didn't do, we always come to this question of what if. When it comes to the past, what if I didn't do that? You got to remember something when it comes to the past. <coughs> when it comes to the past, you got to trust that God going to forgive you for whatever's in the past. Amen. See, a lot of times we wear on our sleeves stuff we've done a long time ago. It limits us to reaching a height that the Lord has for us because we always weighing ourselves down with stuff we remember we did in the past. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear your preacher talk all the time. Anybody know anything about me in Mar, Mississippi? And they had they had young ladies my age. They was keeping them in the house away from me because I was bad. <laughs> I was bad. Now, do you think for one minute? that I let the fact that I was bad back then interfere with what I'm doing now. Amen. It ain't gonna slow me down. That's in my past. God has already forgiven me for that. Amen. You don't have no business holding that against me. Amen. I can revoke now. Oh yeah, child, I had to send my child to Iowa. <laughs> to keep him away from that old bad boy. I'm 60 something, you gonna forgive me? Yes, sir. Amen. Good news, no matter what you've done in the past. God's already forgiven you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, when it comes to the future, you got to remember, or at least you got to understand and believe that God is capable of keeping his promises. Yes, yes. Woo, that one right there, I'll hang everything I got on. He promised me something. Yes, he did. He told me about keeping his word. I live the best I know how to live for him. He can give me anything I ask for. Some of y'all timid. Some of y'all think y'all got a genie in the bottle when it comes to the Lord. Y'all don't want to ask me, Lord, I don't want to bother you. If you would just bless me to be able to pay my bill next month. Amen. That ain't me. Amen. Lord, I know you're capable. Mm -hmm. I've been doing everything you told me I need to be doing to the best of my knowledge. If you see fit, you know I play that. You know I play that. Mm -hmm. Can you let my numbers hit? <laughs> Lord, can you let my number hit? Amen. You know I got good will in my heart. I'm gonna do a whole lot of good for you, Lord. Let my number hit. Y'all be scared of something like that. Y'all be Lord, just bless me. I ain't greedy. Amen. Lord, I ain't Amen. greedy. You serve an almighty God, Amen. and all you want to ask for is an extinguisher. Yeah. I got this little grease fire on the stove. Lord, bless me to get it out. What's wrong with you? Amen. 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 According to 1 Peter 1, 3, he has already given us all things that pertain to life. He already gave it to us. Yes, he did. Bless, I, bro, 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 when my brother got this scripture, he said, Brother Sam, I'm following you. He says, 
make sure you got the right scripture when it comes to 1 Peter 1 and 3. I said, okay, he pulled it up. I said, oh, this, this is the only thing I need you to know. Who, according to his abundant mercy, has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Whatever you're asking for in the future is already there. Amen. Amen. Whatever you want in the future, God's already gave it to you. Yes, he has. All you got to do is do what you're supposed to be doing to get it. Oh, yeah. When you don't do what you're supposed to be doing to get the blessing, and if God bless you with the blessing, you know how you'll treat God? Like a genie in the box. Mm. You'll be like, okay, Lord, I got one more, I got one more uh, wish. Mm -hmm. But I, I know I wish for all this money now. Give me some sense so I know how to spend it. <laughs> Amen. 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 Now, when it comes to things of the present, we got to trust that God will give us the strength to endure whatever it is we're going through. Listen, listen, listen. If we had our way, that is something we can complain about every day. That's true. If we had our way. That's true. We can complain about everything. If it ain't nothing but I'm running late for work. Sure. Or somebody in my parking lot, when, parking spot when I got to work. Sure. Or the person I can't stand was the first person I saw this morning when I got to work. We'll find something. Sure. We can always complain about something. Amen. But you got to trust that no matter what it is, God's going to give us the strength. Amen. I know, because he told me, in James chapter 1, verses 2 through 3, God's of any situation, worry is not the answer. Amen. Amen. You know it's a sin to worry. Amen. It's just like me saying, Lord, I believe in you, but you know what? I'm going to go and take care of this myself just in mm. case you're busy. Look mm. mm -hmm. so okay, at right. God, you think you serve. Amen. He ain't never too busy for me. Amen. In James 1, 6, but let him walk. I mean, let him act in faith. That is it. Right there. There's a story in the Bible about Jonah. In John chapter 1, we started there. He was a man of God. God told him to go over there and preach to them folks over there in Nineveh. Mm -hmm. The same people who cut open people alive and put cats in them and let the cats scratch their way out of the person. Yes, they were ruthless people. Mm -hmm. And Jonah was scared to go. Amen. 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 Don't, be, don't be hard on Amen. Jonah. You know how to be... Lord, I know you said go over there, but now let me see if I heard you right. You know, my right ear don't work a lot. <laughs> go over there, stand there, and preach the word. Take your scared self <laughs> over there and preach the word. Jonah said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Tell you what, I ain't going, I ain't going everywhere at all. <laughs> Jonah went and got on the boat and went to sleep. <laughs> Lord, have given Jonah a directive, he went to sleep. But Stanley, what this got to do with what else? Just hang on, hang on. Jonah went to sleep and a storm came. The Lord sent him a great storm and it woke Jonah up. Yes, the folk couldn't understand what is going on. We're going to die here. Jonah said, you ain't going to die. Mm -hmm. He it? after me. Just throw me over. Throw me over. Mm -hmm. I ain't jumping. Yeah. You want to throw me. Amen. But I'm telling you, it's he's out to me. Amen. Soon as they throw Jonah over, that big old fish gobble him up. Mm -hmm. You stay in the bed of a big fish. You know what they eat. Rotten stuff floating around you. Dead corpse. Smelling. You in there three days. Mm -hmm. And the only way they come out, and he puked you up. Mm -hmm. He puked Jonah up. And Jonah made the trip. So fast. They said it normally take three days to get a Jonah went one. Yes, she did. He ran <laughs> and didn't stop. <laughs> the Lord will make it to where what you think you should or shouldn't do going to be what you should have done in the first Amen. place. Mm -hmm. What if Jonah had gone on and done what the Lord said? He had to go on the fish. If the if Lord sent you, take your scared self on. Amen. Amen. He going to take care of you. People always tell me I would have gone, but I was scared. Mm -hmm. Fear. Who you with? Mm -hmm. And the words are burning mad. Amen. You ain't got the law with you? Why you scared? If you got the law with you, why you scared? Amen. Say that again, brother. Amen. Say it again. Y'all talk, talk, talk. The law ain't bigger than your enemy. Mm. Well, uh -oh. mm. I don't know mm. what law you got, but my law is bigger than any enemy you can come up with. Amen. Amen. Jonah, word, what, what his worry was that these people that the Lord sent him to talk to might be saved. And they don't deserve to be saved because they're so ruthless. Mm. Oh, we like that sometimes. Oh, we are hate on folks. Oh, we are hate on folks for years. Mm. Now, they did something to me back in 1971. 
y'all wasn't born then, so y'all don't know about this. Why do you still know about it? It is 2024, and you can remember something in 71 that can make you mad at somebody. Amen. Something is wrong with you Amen. insane in the membrane. Mm. God cares about our family, and he cares about us enough to take care of us. Amen. We don't have to worry about what of this or what of that. God is compassionate. He is forgiven. Yes, what, he is. See, what if I hadn't done that? When you walk to school, some of our young folk gonna go off to school, and you're gonna meet Satan. I talked to you about him last week. He's a good looking rascal. <laughs> you're gonna meet him. She's a good looking like young lady. And you're gonna get yourself in a position, you're gonna do some Satan, some things that you normally wouldn't do and say because your boundaries around you are not there. Mm -hmm. You don't have the protection that mom mm -hmm. and dad gave you. So you're gonna get out there, you're gonna do some things mm -hmm. you got no business doing. You're gonna forget about the Lord. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, Mrs. Sunday ain't really that much because mm -hmm. I went to church a whole lot mm -hmm. when I was little. Hey, mm -hmm. Amen. I got enough church mm -hmm. for me to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. It ain't going mm -hmm. to be no big deal if I miss Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to miss another Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to miss another. And then you're going to realize your relationship with the Lord is strained. Mm -hmm. you be like, Lord, I'm talking to you. And then the Lord go, who this? Because <laughs> you never talk to him. Mm -hmm until you need it. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I'd like to leave you with a story I read about a young woman suffering from the ons. The U, capital U, capital N, S. The ons. She felt like she was unloved, mm. unattracted, mm. and unwanted. Mm. She went off to college. She got involved in a situation. Her name was Shimmy. And she had already been fighting the feelings of failure. She had been fighting the effects of the uns. She thought she was unattractive, thought she was unloved, and thought that she was unwanted by anybody. She tried to have a few, she, she tried a few ways to overcome this feeling of loneliness, but was unsuccessful. Her desire for a quick fix led her to follow after the lures of prostitution, drugs, and alcoholism. Later, her regimen of substance abuse turned into a prescribed treatment program. What do you mean about that, Brother Stanley? She didn't think she could do without it. Mm. And she stopped going to church and stopped taking her children to church. Mm. Her treatment for loneliness became a habit. You know, every once in a while, you know, we'll say it. You know, we, we, we'll say it. I had a, a hard day. I'm going to give me a little nip <laughs> so I can sleep good. Amen. We'll justify sometimes. The Lord says, if the Lord didn't say, he said, don't get drunk. We'd be laying up there drunk telling you. <laughs> We're already drunk. We quoting the Bible. The Lord said, don't get drunk. He didn't say, can't have a little drink. <laughs> the needs of the children suffer. At first, Shelly began to feel pretty attractive and even loved. She made money off the relationship with men. Mm. Maybe Satan convinced her. Her, that prostitution was justified as long as she was providing for her children. Mm -hmm. Convinced and deceived, Shelley bought into this no good health plan of mm -hmm. Satan. Mm -hmm. A little note before we finish the end of the story. Never be deceiving and thinking that good physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual health can ever come from bad advice. Amen. Amen. And I know a bunch of us have tra tried a whole lot of bad advice Amen. in our life. We look Amen. at TV and say, ooh, that diet plan. They say don't eat nothing but kiwi. <laughs> and then we go, a kiwi eating crazy person. <laughs> bad advice. Next thing you know, up in the hospital, what's wrong? Up in the doctor's office, what's wrong with you? I ain't ate nothing in days. Mm -hmm. I'm on that kiwi diet. The doctor got to give you, lay in the bed for a while and get some energy. <laughs> you know we've done a whole lot of things. Bad advice, TV. Everything on TV ain't true. Amen. Everything on the internet ain't true. Amen. Amen. Say it again. You better learn to decipher between what's right and what's wrong. If I put some stuff out, I can tell you that I got a 2006 Mercedes Benz for sale in good condition. <laughs> and you'll get out there, get the reading, and you'll go, oh. I'm going to buy it. I put it out there by price, then you come, you get, you get the car, it ain't got a motor in it. <laughs> and you say, you say you had a good car in good condition. It is. It's a very good condition for a car without a motor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. They do it too. Everything on the internet ain't. Amen. Amen. I don't want to give it to you. 
the, the rest of the story. Shed had become ensnared and Satan lied. And now they have become a habit. Here's the sad part. I want to I, I want to tell you all the story like this, but I want to read it because I don't I don't miss nothing. I told you all that I get stories like this from time to time. You've been in social services or you've been having a relationship with police officers, they tell you things like this. The story goes on to say that one Sunday night, the officers arrived on the scene. Once inside, they noticed crayon colored Bible, Bible school pictures of Moses and Noah and Jesus on the children's bedroom wall. Hanging on the wall above a dresser was a cross. In Shelley's bedroom, the three children were laying on their stomach with gunshot wound to the back of their head. Mm. Shelley was on the floor next to the bed. Her head was below the nightstand. She held the barrel of the gunshot at her heart and had missed her heart using her toe to pull the trigger and blew her head separate from her body. Mm. The disease of unloved, unwanted, and unattractive is real. When children go off to college and they leave the comfort of home, somebody's going to tell them every day. Every day we're going to tell our children we love them. Amen. Every day we're going to tell them how good they look. Amen. Every day we're going to tell them how lucky we are to have them. Man. They're going to feel wanted. Mm -hmm. But once they get outside of our wall, we can't protect them from Satan all the time. Mm -hmm. and too many times, children's lives end like shedders did. Knowing God and having a relationship with God is the only thing will save you. Mm -hmm. Man. What do you mean by that, Brother Stan? Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me read something to you. We all have habits. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to get into the point of saying, this habit is the reason she died. Shell is, no, 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 no. We all have habits. Amen. Amen. But the bad habit must be disrupted. What if Shelly could have disrupted that feeling of despair? What if the issue of a long time or quiet time was not an issue for her? What if being alone is something Shelly sought for? That's right. If you don't consider making any changes in your life, please do this one thing for your preacher. Young folk and old folk, always, always, Seek out a quiet place to be alone with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Always. You'll never have a feeling of being alone if you know that your being alone is with the Lord. Amen. Amen. You don't have to worry about having friends. That's right. You don't have to worry about being wanted by other folk. That's right. The Lord going to make you feel wanted. Amen. He going to make you feel loved. Mm -hmm. He going to make you feel attractive. Amen. Amen. Do you do know you are made in the image of God. Well, so why in the world would God make you feel like you are unattractive? Well, why in the world would the Lord make you feel like you unwanted or unloved? Well, now you some time, some quiet time with the Lord every day. Amen. Amen. Every day. Amen. If you knew about the Lord when you were 10, you should have been making time for the Lord every day. And Amen. I'm not talking about when you get ready to go to sleep. Well, I'm not talking about when you give a thank you, Lord, for this biscuit. Well, I ain't talking about, Lord, this is a grand dinner you have, have me to prepare here for my family. And I think, no, 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 no. I sit in my man cave, screened in area, backyard, front yard, in my car, on my car, mm -hmm. in the back of the truck, and I meditate. Amen. Amen. Folks come by there sometimes, they be waving and I don't know it until they blow. And then I, oh, hey. Amen. I know they're looking at me and say, man, they'll be in another world. Yes, I do. Yes, Amen. Yes, I do be in another world. I'm going to be alone with the Lord every chance I get. Yes, because sir. Because if I don't be alone with the Lord, Oh, Satan going to say something to me. Yeah. Be with you. Hey, what you doing over there? Don't mm -hmm. look like nobody with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody want to play with you? I got you. Oh, I'll play with you. Yeah. Oh. oh, don't worry about what they saying about you. You look good. I love you. You know, I love you that day. Yes. You, you're what I've been looking yes, for. Yes, yes, yes. You know how they sneak up close to you and tell you that they had that pretty face on? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And then they really you know, the women come to you guys. when you're in school mm-hmm. and they say stuff to you you ain't never heard in your life. You can be the best looking man in your school. <laughs> best looking young man in your school. When you go to college, them women will say something to you and make you think you are the original Denzel. <laughs> They'll make you feel so good about yourself. You're like, woo! We got something going on Sunday. You know, we, we cooking. We hanging out. Mm-hmm. Sunday, what time? What we going to do at that brunch around 10, 10, 30? Oh, I got to be at church. Oh, can't you miss one Sunday? Look at that handsome rascal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That pretty girl, she said to you, wink, wink. <laughs> Man, you won't see Sunday no more to the preacher see you pumping gas. I've been missing you. <laughs> Where you been, oh, Lord? I think Satanists done got me. Yep. You sure. You sure. Young folk, this lesson is designed to make you understand no matter what you've done in the past, no matter what's in the condition you're in right now, or no matter what you act the law for in the future, he got you. He yeah, mm-hmm. does. All you have to do is remain faithful to him. Amen. Amen. That's it. Mom and dad didn't put this into you just because that's all we knew. I've heard folks say to their parents, you gonna do that because that's all you know. You think mom and dad chose to just go to church every Sunday. Well. No, no, there was something we could have been doing. Amen. But we wanted to go to show your crazy self. Amen. Amen. This is what you need to be doing when you get older. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some Sundays mom and dad didn't want to go. Don't Amen. you know there are some Sundays we yeah. want to do something? There were some Amen. Sundays I want to lay in bed and watch cartoons. There was some time, they had some real cartoons, some real good cartoons. <laughs> At once, once in a while during the Sunday morning. Ooh, boy, if I had that recording thing device like they do now, I recorded them, they were so good. Mm-hmm. But I ain't missed Sunday. Amen. Amen. Don't you know, listen, now I ain't trying to pat myself on the back. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna get ready to extend the invitation. You are a good looking individual. Amen. Amen. Good looking man, good looking woman. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be dependent on nobody to tell you how good you look. Amen. Amen. You don't need to be waiting on somebody to tell you that you all that and a, and a, and a biscuit and gravy. Amen. Amen. Well, you see yourself every day. Amen. You heard what the people that love you have said about you. Oh, yes. Why are you waiting for Zenzel to come along and tell you something you already know? Tell that rascal. Oh, I know no, what you I want. Know. You know you're looking good to me. I know I look good to a lot of folks. What do you want? Amen. Amen. Say it again, brother. You need to have some confidence about who you, you are. are. Right. And stop being worried about what if this and what if that. What if you leave the Lord when you go off to, to college? Mm-hmm. What if you do it? Mm-hmm. Just think about it. If I leave the Lord, more than likely, mom and dad are going to be mad. Mm-hmm. My money flow going to be interrupted. Amen. You better have some common sense. Amen. Mm-hmm. My money flow going to be interrupted. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to be able to do the things I want to do. Mm-hmm. The Lord ain't going to bless me. What if I left the Lord? Now, let's do this thing here. What if I stayed with the Lord? Mm-hmm. What if I took what mom and dad showed me mm-hmm. and I went off to college or I went off into my life and I kept that and I grew with that. I kept the faith. Mm-hmm. You know, folks going to be looking at you going, that young lady, young, that young man, they got their head screwed on, right? Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. The Lord gonna be just blessed. You won't be able to explain the blessing. Amen. Right. All you have to do is keep the faith. Amen. If you're not in the Lord. You need to get in the Lord. You come by way of hearing His word, believing it, repenting of your sin. You know the one you know you do. Mm-hmm. You repent of old. Lord, I got to stop rolling my eye at my mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or you're gonna be cockeyed one day. <laughs> Y'all don't believe? I've, I've, I've seen this. I've actually seen this. I didn't even know. I've never told my wife about this because I know she would have made a funny out of it. Young lady, in and out of juvenile court, prostitute, drug, going. Mom was a teacher, affluent, been a teacher for a while. <clears throat> Young lady always rolling her eyes at her mom, rolling her, rolling her eyes, talking to her, rolling. She's Miss Lane one of these days. I'm going to slap her eyes, cock eyes. She ain't got no bitch sitting in the office with me, you know. So one day the girl came, they came back and I had them be one girl. Ow! <laughs> I said, what is wrong with her? Now, mama said, mama said, I said, what, what? I said, you did not put your hand on this baby. She said, I tried to slap a cock eye. <laughs> Look at my face. 
But after I got into it and I realized what the young lady had been doing and what she had saying, do it again. I couldn't justify her mama putting her hand on her, but I understand. Yeah, there you go. There you go. But I understand. <laughs> Believe and repent of the sin that you know you're doing and confess your fault. I have a problem. Amen. So what's your confession, young man? I have a problem with people. Okay, then you need to spend most of your time with the Lord. Amen. Amen. You got problem problem with people? Confess it. People often say, after they mistreated folk, I, but you know, I, I, I got a problem with people anyway. Well, why are you around for? <laughs> why in the world are you around people mm. and you got problem with people? Mm. Well, I can't live by myself. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you're going to learn to do something. What if? You learn how to live with folk. Mm. What if your long time with the Lord was asking him to help you do better about being around folk? Confess your fault one to another. And if you're not baptized, be baptized. Go down in the water, come in contact with the blood. Watch the way you're seeing. Watch where you're seeing that you know and watch where you're seeing that you don't even know you got it. Amen. Amen. And you become a new creature. You know, I like that idea to become a new creature. I'm become something like I've never been. You know, we're much better we would come in contact with the blood of the Lord because he watches some stuff that we know we ain't have. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? If you're not a member of the Lord's church, if you're not in the Lord, you need to get into the Lord. Amen. Amen. Last and eternity too late. Especially before you go off to college. Amen. 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 Or before you go out there, I ain't going to college, but I'm going to live my own life. Well, you're going to find you've got a supervisor that's going to tell you you ain't going to live your own life the way you want to. Amen. You're going to run to some of them supervisors like Lee ain't got. Amen. <laughs> you better hope you have the spirit that she got to deal with. Them. Amen. Because people are out there. What if you keep what mom and dad taught you when you get out there? Amen. I'm going to give you an opportunity. If you have erred in any way, I'm going to give you an opportunity right after we dismiss ourselves from our Facebook friend. Give you an opportunity to come back to the Lord before the everlasting church is too late. Facebook, thank you so very much for joining us today. And I hope and pray this, that, that um, our, our message for the day is helpful for you throughout the week. And as I always say before I get ready to sign off, first of all, thank you for the privilege of your time. But be good to yourself and be good to each other. Amen. Thank you. Amen.